All right, treading new ground. Three men in a tank. I guess and a tank. Huh. These treads are really made to last, and the armor plating is angled to deflect shots. Man, tanks are so awesome. Oh, I never get bored just sitting here all day looking at one. Oh, Lord, what are you doing here? Again? I thought I told you I don't want you getting in the way of maintenance. Oh, come on, I'm just looking. It's not harming anyone. No, but it's wasting my time. Look, I need to do a maintenance check on this tank. Shoot! Take maintenance, eh? Want me to do it for you? That's fine, thanks. It's my assignment, so I'll take care of it. You're not a tank operator. Don't you have something better to do? Supplies to restock? Ah, that boring grunt work? It's a tankless job, no thanks. <sighs> oh, Lord, why are you like this? Even in battle, too. They've seen you breaking formation to get close to our tanks, taking too long on repair jobs. I've been getting complaints from the other operators, you know. I wish you'd take your job more seriously. Huh? What, you got a problem with the way I do things? I'm the biggest tank buff here. If you want to know about tanks, I'm your guy. All these Federation operators are a bunch of amateurs. It'll take years until they match up to me. Here, I can prove it. Let me just do a maintenance check on this baby here. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Don't go rubbing up on other people's tanks, kid. Huh? Oh, you Private Bentley. Good afternoon, sir. And what's got you so formal all of a sudden? Isn't it obvious? Private Bentley's an expert. There's no one in the squad who's better in a tank. You know, when he was in tank training, his scores were off the charts. Dan? But he drives the APC. Well, I mean, if he's mastered the tank, naturally he'd want to broaden his horizons. Do you guys ever shut up? What's all the racket out here? Sir, we were just discussing our love for tanks. You really got that much free time on your hands, Miles? Hey! I'm trying to do my job. Olar just kept going on his own. I'd be honored if you joined us, Private Bentley. I know deep down you've got the same burning passion for tanks. Sorry, kid. But I don't have a way with words like you. I'll keep my passions to myself. He doesn't even need words. Oh, he's so cool. See what I mean? You see how awesome he is? Man, I wish I could drive a tank too. I want to be a legend just like Private Bentley. Oh, boy. I just received a transmission from Federation Headquarters. There's an Imperial Tank Division heading our way. Our orders are to stop it. A whole division? Sounds like this won't be a quick skirmish, huh? Looks that way. I'm planning to send a tank operator and an engineer to support the efforts. Understood. I'll let the other operators know. I'll be counting on you to direct us, Claude. Hey, Miles! I heard you're going up against an Imperial tank division, right? Yes. I'll be heading out tomorrow. Hell yeah! This is the chance I've been waiting for! Come on, let me join you on this mission. I, I can ride on the tank just this once, please. I'm sorry, but your orders are to remain on standby. What? Why? I told you, the others have been complaining about your performance, and tomorrow will be dangerous. It's only natural that we prioritize the engineers we know we can count on in a crisis. We can't afford to take someone who might be a liability, Olard. Yeah. Almost time. Only a couple moments until that battle against the Imperial tanks kicks off. Damn it. Why was I put on standby? How come I'm the one who has to sit out a tank battle? I'm the only one here with a real passion for tanks, so why... You look like you're in a rotten mood, kid. Are you that upset about being left out of the mission? B Private Bentley! I'd say you deserve to be more upset than I do, sir. 
Don't you want to be on tank duty instead of the APC? Nope. This suits me just fine. Going from tank to APC was my decision anyway. You chose to? But you were the best tank operator during training, weren't you? I'm not into killing. Whatever skills I got, I'd rather use them to help my teammates. Wherever you want to go, there's always more than one path you can take. That's what I think, anyway. Huh? You gotta head for tanks, do you? Well, if you love them that much, then think about what you can do. Uh. Tank boys. Let's begin. Mission briefing. Is this a new? No, this is not a new. This is the one with the clock towers. Okay. Target is the enemy tank platoon. Squad D will take the vanguard. Okay. Send tank reinforcements soon enough. We're outnumbered. Goes without saying our tanks will take a beating. Train your engineers wisely and remember to repair your tanks when they need it. Okay. So... Can't have the Allard die. What units do we even have? Claude, Dan, a random Federate tank. Can't take Ronald. Oh, because he's not supposed to be here in Allard. I thought he wasn't in this mission. Alright. That will be all. Bah, 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 bah. Shame I can't bring okay. the glory along. That's the signal from the recon team. Tanks, roll out! Roger! Wait for me! Oh, Lord, what are you doing here? Please, you have to take me with you. I already told you yesterday, we can't... I know, it's because I'm supposed to provide support, but I never listened to anyone. But I realized what I was doing wrong, and I get why I wasn't assigned to this. I think I know what I need to do now, so please, just give me this one chance. Oh, Lord. Just take the kid, will ya? Dan? Can't say if it's the right decision or not, but I can tell you the kid's serious about this one. <clears throat> All right, Olard. This is your shot. You're formally assigned as an engineer for this operation. Thanks, Commander. Thanks, Private Bentley. No need to thank me, kid. Just get ready. They're coming. Okay, so that's the Hoffman there. Cactus, Federate tank, heavy tank. All right. Well. Okay, moving out. We have some actual CP here. Calm down. We need suppressive fire now. Now. However, this obviously sucks a bit. Enemy sighted. They've got you in. <sighs> that's a hit on our treads. Miles, can we still move? We're mobile, but it's pretty serious damage. If we keep going... <laughs> Out of the way! Commander! Miles! I can fix this in no time, so just keep those imps busy while I get in there. Man, the Hoffin is impressive as always. Mm, those suspensions... Someone's been taking good care of... No! No, damn it. Focus. Right now, I gotta fix this. That ought to do it. Just need you to keep going a little further, buddy. Okay, Miles, floor it. G got it. Huh. I think we're good to go. Ah, uh, yeah. That torque feels so good. Feel the rumble. Oh, look at that polish. Ah, uh, tanks are the friggin' best. <laughs> Yeesh. <laughs> that kid needs to get a grip. Still, say what you want. The guy loves his tank. And now we have Allard with us. Beautiful. All right, we got a medium tank there. This isn't good. Okay, so we need to take out this guy quick. Don't know if he's ducking or what exactly. So we've taken some damage, obviously. Free repair for the Hoffman was pretty nice, though. Find their weak point. A lot of. No. I'm pretty much not going to be able to do anything there. All right. So tank there, tank there, 
I guess let's take the Federate tank. Is two tanks or one? Can I go over this stuff? I can't. Oh boy, controlling in this is awkward. Five shots to kill. Two shots to kill. Okay. That's better. Shoot for the gun. Oh, no, that's the heavy tank gun. Wait. Is that a... Oh. That's awkward. Leave it to me. I think I can make that. There they are. There they are. Let me switch weapons. Enemy spot. No, that's not it. There we go. Boop. Boop. And Huffin's back to normal. Thank you. Main problem is just like not entirely sure how to get out of some of the situation. I guess what I should have done was just blasted the tank incoming. behind that wall. Might be. Oh well. Uh, yeah, awkward. What is... What is the mission objective? Oh. Advancing! There they are! Mind your distance from the enemy! Can I get the Hoffin through here? The answer is no. Okay. In that case, uh, what I probably should have done... I see. Right there! There's some Watch things I should have done. This will be fine. I mean, we do a stupid amount of damage to begin with. I just need to get past this tank. Okay, moving out. Once I can get past this singular tank, we're good to go. It's going right to take there. me a little bit to get used to these, uh, these controls. I think. Taking major damage. Okay. I see how I'm supposed to have done this one, kind of, sort of. So there's an anti-tank cannon. Leave it to me. And that. I'm tough oh, this will be fine. So we'll have to do this on the next round, probably. Keep calm and move onward. Allard might out. get grenadiered here. We'll see how it goes. Fire. I think he's grenade proof as long as we're removing these tank mines. Which actually makes this a lot easier. Watch out for counter but yeah, no way the Hoffin can get past this. Ah, they're firing at me. Oh, there's a guy there. Well, there's barely a guy there. Alright, so it's the just dancing. a scout. So what we want is probably shrapnel. We need interception fire. I don't entirely fire. I hope this will do what I need it to do. Perfect. Okay, and then I'm just going to end here. There's a tank on the other side. But this will be fine. End phase. We're just going to we're just going to rush it. Second turn victory if possible. Didn't even take that much effort. Some of these guys are going to run for the Hoffin, but I don't think they're going to make it. Hey! Oh, oh no, Allard. You got plinked. Whatever you're going to do. Wreck him. <laughs> That's what. Well, that was inaccurate. This is goofy. Ow. Okay, so that Federate tank is is a lot weaker. But that's... I think we'll be fine. Man, how great would this game be if it actually had destructible terrain? Uh-oh. Okay, he missed. I realized probably should have turned the Hoffman better. All right, whatever. We got we got time. Advancing. We got time. We got CP. We don't have any tanks remaining. Okay, so let's get him good. Right there. Got him good. All right, so all we need to do here. 
Enemy it's actually Enemy really sighted. funny. Enemy sighted. Did I get him? I got him. Perfect. Watch out. Okay. That should work. Puts the shock trooper in an inconvenient location. Alright, so we want a system. Save before I do anything stupid. As I've been doing quite a lot of stupid. Uh, but that's fine. Okay. Leave it to me. Elard, you are full health. There's that one guy, but whatever. Don't stop! You've got to break through! Not bad, Yoink. right? <laughs> What a mission! <laughs> Does, doesn't even make sense. Don't even care. Yeah, I probably could have used some orders here. Oh well. That takes care of that. Let's head back. The tank should be able to handle the trip easily now. I have to hand it to you for that repair job, Olard. Piece of cake! I told you, if you need a tank expert, I'm your guy. Kid, please, turn it down a notch. Come on. Let's go. Hell yeah! We won! Eat that, you friggin' imps! Hey, Olard, you were great out there! Huh? I've never seen an engineer fix a tank that quickly. You really know what you're doing. Yeah. It was only thanks to you that we got out of that. Thanks, man. I, um... Thanks to me? Of course. Your support was quick and accurate. That helped us keep casualties on our side to a minimum. Well, really? <laughs> Feels kind of weird when someone just compliments me out of the blue like that. Hey, if you're that good with tanks, maybe you'd make a great operator. Maybe if we give you a recommendation and ask the commander, he can reassign you. A tank operator, huh? But... Huh. What's the matter? You've always wanted to drive a tank, haven't you? You know, back in that battle, when I fixed the tank and it started moving again, it felt like the tank was responding to me. Maybe it sounds weird, but I was just happy to see it back in shape. I never realized how good it felt to help out like that. I'll be my comrades, and their tanks. So, I think I'm gonna stick to engineering for now. Well, you thought and that's what you came up with, huh? Uh, Private Bentley, um, thank you for the advice, sir. I didn't do a thing, kid. You decided to change and you made it happen. That's it. Oh man, he's so cool. The hell do you think you're doing, Miles? I told you, I don't do pictures. <laughs> Sorry. I just felt like commemorating our victory, I guess. <sighs> just a little shutterbug, ain't you? Well, my family ran a photo studio, so I got it from them. But yeah, I love photography. You sure you don't like pictures, Dan? Don't you have some girl's photo pinned up next to your driver's seat? What? Really? Uh, Private Bentley, is that your girlfriend? That is none of your goddamn business. Don't you have a maintenance check to get to? He's so mysterious. That's another cool thing about him. Why don't we take a picture before we get started? I just managed to get my hands on a new roll of film. In that case, get a picture of the big fella. He was our MVP in that battle, wasn't he? Big fella? What, the tank? He did the most work out of all of us back there, right? Well, I guess. But a picture of a tank would be kind of boring, wouldn't it? Boring? Look at the form, the curves, the angles. This is a masterpiece, damn it! Yeah, give me that camera. I'll take the picture myself. Hey, get off me! You have no idea how hard it is. Get film out here! Good lord, the guy's obsessed. Listen up, everyone. I'd like to introduce a new member of Squad E. Hello, I'm Mabel Drake. I don't like wasting time, so can we wrap this up? What? Okay. 
Dan has woken a new potential protector. Allard's potential fix fixation is changed into the joy tanks. And nothing happens with Miles because he's not a real character. <laughs> All right, love and logic, romance theory. And I think this will be the last of the squad st stories that I do for a while. I'd like to do more, uh, but time is always an issue. And honestly, I'd rather just focus on the characters that I have. Maybe we'll do the other ones uh, on another free day that I have. Ah, uh, warm milk is so comforting on a cold day like this. Mmm, that's lovely. Hmm, is that Aoife over there? Hmm, huh. good. Fascinating. Oh, if it isn't Yasha. Everything okay? You've been staring at Aoife for a while now. Hmm? Well, how do I put it? Um, when I watch her, I feel this strange surge of pressure in my chest. Attempts to find a cause have been inconclusive. The key seems to be Aoife herself. So I've been observing her. That sounds to me like you're in love, Yasha. What? No, ridiculous. Love is only an emotion. If anything, it's chemically induced stress. Most of all, it's irrational. There's no logic, no objective grounding behind it. There's no reason I would be. Ugh, do you ever shut up? Look, no one wants to hear you go on and on about logic. Do you or do you not like Aoife? That's what's important here. Well, I don't dislike her. Wow, did you hear that? Yasha just admitted to an emotion. I guess he's human after all. <laughs> guess even snooty math geeks can find true love. I'm used to being called a geek, but I'll thank you not to accuse me of snootiness. All right, I see how it is. There's only one option here. Go on, you gotta tell her you love her. Just put your heart into it and show her some passion. Absolutely not. All phenomena in this world can be explained through formulae. Love should be no exception. Some appropriate calculation should be all I need to tell me what to do next. What are you talking about? Here's your calculations. Passion plus passion equals passion. That's all you need. Hannah, that isn't how math works. You cannot solve every problem with passion or guts. For one, it's illogical. Well, you can't solve everything with logic either. Come on, you don't need those calculations. Be a man! I'm sorry, I don't see how gender relates to math. <laughs> Fine. You want to show me what you're made of? Then confess to her. Ask her out! Fine. I'll prove you wrong. I'm a man of pride, after all. Good. Hey, Aoife! Over here! Well, no turning back now. Whatever happens next, I claim no responsibility. Oh, hello, everyone. Can I help you with something? We're just talking about Yasha's crush. Ah, are we sharing stories? I'd love to join in. <laughs> oh, I just love stories about relationships. Would you mind sharing, Yasha? Uh, <clears throat> of course. Let me first begin with probability theory and its relationship to what some know as fate. On the concept of soulmates, we can use a form of predictive modeling to establish presumed compatibility. I've constructed my own formula for this. It hasn't been peer-reviewed, but it shows promise. First, if x equals... Uh, time out, Yasha. We need to talk. Come here a second. What's going on? Where are you taking me? I... The, the theorems... Good God, this isn't even a problem of passion or formulas. That was just awful. On so many levels. Oh, that's a pity. I was looking forward to hearing about who could have captured Yasha's heart. You really like this stuff, huh? 
guess that makes sense. You've got guys tripping over themselves to talk to you. Hmm, I suppose so. Though I'm really not sure why. Really, Yasha's far more attractive and interesting than I am. Don't you think? That geek? Attractive? Geek? That's a bit unkind, isn't it? I do find myself drawn to intelligence in a man. Wait, does Yasha actually have a chance with this girl? You're such a sweet girl, Aoife. So modest, too. How'd someone like you end up in the military? Well, if I'm being honest, it was for the money. Before I enlisted, it was difficult for me to find steady work. Wherever I went, they only saw me as a Darkson. Really? Guess you've been through some tough times. Yes, but I've met more than enough kind people to make up for it. I met so many wonderful people in this squad. Even if my life's been difficult, I'm glad I ended up here. Ah, you're such a sweetheart. You make sure you eat right and stay healthy, okay? <laughs> I think I'll do just that. I'll be looking forward to tonight's dinner, Hannah. And then she left. Can you believe it? Aoife's sweet on Yasha, too. I want her to be happy, so I'm gonna do everything I can to get you two together. Wow. Still, it'll be hard enough just getting him to confess. Last I heard, we have a sortie tomorrow. I'll try to switch some units around to get Yasha and Eva on a team. If you impress her during a mission, then you'll have a better chance when you finally ask her out. You two seem more invested in this than I am. But I'll do my best in the mission, regardless. Allow me to brief you on the upcoming operation. Okay, your objective is to liberate the village by capturing all the Imperial camps there. Okay, all enemy camps are captured. Position units... Okay, oh god, um... Well... You're cleared for deployment, Squaddy. Just do your best and you'll be fine. So we have a Lancer and two Grenadiers. Operation start. I'm counting on you, everyone. All right, let's do this. Yasha, you protect Ifo with your life. You got that? Keep your voice down, or you're liable to bring the entire Imperial Army down on our heads. <laughs> Yasha, Hannah, let's give them a fight. Okay, so we have tank, tank, huh. Oh. Yasha's got the anti-tank gun. What does Aoife have? <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> this is my anti-tank group, isn't it? Oh, boy. Chance of success, 100%. I mean, I can kill him. It'll take some shots. Adjusting margin of error. How's this? Might I not be able to kill to him spare. fast, though. That's the one thing. This would have been. You know what? Let's give up on this mission. 
Let's give one of the two an anti-personnel one. Otherwise, I'm just going to be, uh, let's just go back to book mode. Otherwise, I'm just going to be running with, uh, less than what I need. Let's go back to HQ. Uh, let's see. I have a decent amount of EXP. We could actually use that. All right, let's go to command room for a second. The fret. All right. Uh, equipment. So, Yasha or Aoife are about indistinguishable. Okay, fine. Let's give him the uh, the anti personnel one. Just, there we go. That should that should be everything that we need. Is that the lady we just picked up? I think it is. A sniper. Huh. I should figure out what her deal is. We could also try assigning a leader from Can't do Yasha? Rank is too low. I'll do my best for you, sir. Okay, but that'll get us just a little bit more CP. Might as well use it. It looks like it works. Okay, so back to book mode. I could... No, 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 no. Let's go training field. We got a bunch of EXP. We might as well make use of it. I might as well just upgrade my Lancer. I should probably... No. I don't know. Whatever. I'm going to have to use a Lancer here anyway. And we might as well just level them up. Onwards. Nope. They have a new potential. I really do wish that each of them, like, hmm. what would it be? I really wish this game had a com uh, a leveling system, kind of like Final Fantasy Tactics, where you actually had like a bunch of customization options that you could really like get into. I don't know. I really liked the Final Fantasy Tactics advance leveling system, or XCOM, or just like a couple of things. You know, a little bit more personalization would have actually helped a lot over the course of this. Okay. So this gets our Lancers up to what? Level 16? No. Hopefully that'll mean what's her face can actually run farther. Because we're going to need her to do the uh, the vast majority of uh, ground travel on that mission. And I might as well have her ready for it. Okay. And back to squad stories. I'm assuming extra stories is the end game stuff. The fact that this game has an end game is... Almost upsetting. <laughs> I don't know how I am ever going to finish some of these games. Like, oh, 40 hours on a game is tough. Allow me to brief. Okay, so we already we already know this. And yeah, so th this time we'll be we'll be golden. Wait, position units. That's that's meaningless. Okay, so now we've got two anti tank characters and one character with some hella anti personnel. It should make this go a lot easier. Okay, start with... And I think we got the extra... the extra CP. Okay, let's just put this away so we don't accidentally hit the barrier. Where are you guys shooting? Hello. Fire. Problem solved. I have bullets to spare. That's convenient. Okay, done. let's plonk that away. I'm gonna walk him up this direction. I don't actually know if we have any more enemies up here, but it'll be a lot Keep easier for him to take out some of the extra. There's a grenadier. <gasps> Eva, look out! <laughs> this route is far too dangerous. This way. A grenade? Where are they coming from? We need to return fire! Remain calm. I've already calculated the impact location for the next payload. It should land 7.26 meters away from our current position. Huh. All according to my calculations. Luckily, there's not many variables at play. Wow. Yasha, you're amazing. <laughs> well, um, just a matter of physics. It was nothing that impressive. Let's focus on the mission. Hmm. Not 
bad. Okay, so we do have a grenadier somewhere there. This should be fine, I think. I want him to be able to shell anybody that comes this direction. Not that it's been terribly successful thus far. Okay. Let's see some spirit. Hannah, you are good to go. Incoming! They're in range. Bring it! Incoming! Uh oh! The enemy's firing back! Hi. Your legitimate problem. Did that not? Okay, so that's determine our that's chances. a right proper mess. Leave this to me. Should be fine. Just a margin of error. I d precisely. Make sure that the wounded okay, there are they go. Warm. I have bullets to spare. And he has unlimited ammo. That, that is incredibly out. helpful. No! Okay, and I'm just gonna keep running him this direction. There's a Grenadier somewhere, but I don't think... Advance carefully. I don't think it's gonna matter. Okay. Because I don't think it's gonna hit him. Maybe? Him Hard to say exactly. Okay, so we've got these guys here. I could shoot him with a rocket. Yeah, at this point, it's too far. All right. Did I get him? I got him. Okay, a lot of enemies in this immediate location. Bit of a problem. She's taken some. She's taken some damage. Okay, so we have the trooper Let's elite. See. Ballistic trajectory, precisely. Which is right next to her. All right, there's one. Nice shot. There's a grenadier somewhere around here. The fact that this is working as well as it is is kind of amusing to me. Okay, out of AP, but that's not that big Shall of an issue. Okay, so we don't want to go after the trooper elite. I can kill the sniper elite. Go for the grenadier elite. Let's kill the scout Precisely. elite first. Okay, he's done. I see. They're good. Yeah, I'm a Chance little bit success. worried about that uh, shock trooper. But whatever. Okay, target mode. We might run out of ammo here. Let's take out this guy before we get Let's too see. far. Ballistic trajectory, precisely. The fact that he got nice. multiple bits of ammo back from this is kind of great. Okay, so we're pretty hurt. She's hurt, but she's behind okay. a barricade. Okay, so let's let's grab Eva. She's going to be by far the uh, slowest of the pack, as we have to deal with tanks. I'm not even really sure if we need to worry about the tanks. But I'm going to do it anyway. Just in case. It would be pretty bad if the tanks turned around and just rolled over my position. But as far as I've, like, run into in this game, the tanks just, like, they don't? When this war's over, I'm heading back to my quiet little hometown. It's we like they don't care to do anything. Fight. Half the time. They're just kind of... there. Okay. So hopefully she doesn't get immediately stomped by everybody involved. But she's behind cover. Okay. So... It doesn't matter against flamethrowers. That part kind of sucks.
It's an in engineer heading for my camp. Oh, that's a problem. Okay. So this is a bit more difficult. I I definitely got it a little harder than I should have. Okay, so let's let's start with her. My heart is pounding. Aoife, Aoife's got to put away. Yeah, I guess I overextended a little bit. I don't know. I was confident. Don't get distracted by the snow. It is pretty, though. I found them. You're being targeted. Okay, and found the scout. Spotted. Let's crouch. You're not target. Cold, are you, it's an engineer. Now, he doesn't have that much HP, so we should be able to just kill him. Okay, there we go. I might just have to keep her there. That was wonderful. Another job well done. Okay, and I don't want to retreat her. Okay. So she's in Shall trouble. Jasha only has one eight one shot. Ah, here they are. Damn it. The comms are acting up. Okay, we can pick her up though. And that's the trooper elite right there that took her out. How's this? Please don't miss. Okay, there he goes. I have bullets to spare. Hey! They might be a little luckier. Okay. So we've still got that one tank. That two tank. Actually, I'll I think that's it for everybody. Medic. Okay, so she does she will not die. Daring attack. rescuer. Oh, probably because we're within range of a tank, maybe? That actually, that's probably it. Okay, so nobody nobody else around here. A couple of enemies back there, but they're not the variety that move. Okay. Which is actually really good for me. So tank's right there. I want to get Don't closer. Luckily, we're on the other side of this flimsy-looking barricade, and please don't miss. There we go. Okay, tanks are done. I did it. Our allies have been taken out. Oh, we didn't actually take that camp. Now that I'm thinking about it, I should have taken that okay. camp. Okay. Well, whatever. We've got two Let's grenadiers, and I know exactly. How to take out tanks with grenadiers. <laughs> I am, uh... I may be... I may overuse this class a little. Oh, that is a... That is one heck of a range up. Whee! And no more tanks. In fact, we could probably get it to, uh, no more dudes pretty quick. Oh. I guess we'll... Set it up. Never mind. Let's determine okay, our Okay, Joshua, you've got a little bit. All I'm going to do... Cap this. Captured. We'll see if I can kill those two scouts from here. As long as we stay within the... Within range. Oh, did we get it? This isn't good. I must have sprained my arm when I shielded Aoife from the blast. The pain's getting worse. What are you doing just standing there? You stay like that and your foot's going to freeze to the ground. Hannah. Be quiet. The enemy will find us. Sorry. It just looked so gloomy. I wanted to perk you up a little. Come on, Aoife. Just a little more. Don't you give up on me. Yes, I can still keep going. Yasha, I know your arm hurts, but I need you to hold out just a little longer, okay? Oh, was it that obvious? Don't worry. I won't tell Aoife. You're a man of pride, right? You're more attentive than I thought. And here, I assumed you were a tactless simpleton. Yeah, yeah. Less chit-chat, more fighting. This is the final push. Let's show them we've got guts. Shit, they took our base! Did more than took your base. <laughs> Let's see. Wee! Ballistic trajectory. Precisely. There they go. 
And yeah, there's stacks of three, just so you can use the grenadier. I have bullets to spare. We have more shots. I don't think there's any no! any enemies left though. All right, and for the sake of somewhat propriety, can I? Who can I? Oh. <laughs> you mean I've been able to summon people from my camps <laughs> for every single one of these squad missions? Okay. <laughs> but how? Oof. Is he down? He's down and he's there. Well, so apparently I've been able to call for reinforcements. Kind of the entire time? The well, I feel goofy. Medic, hurry! We're getting you. Please do what you can. Okay. Commencing counterattack. Follow my lead. Anyway, I'm fairly certain. I have you! Better check the antifreeze after this mission. I'm a little disappointed by this, but whatever. So, Look apparently, out. these are not challenge missions where you're supposed to actually... Eyes up. These are not challenge missions where you're actually supposed to, uh... Just to use the that characters provided. Horrible. They're I just the characters you start up. with. I could send anybody in. I, it hasn't mattered up until now, enemy but, tanks. like... Be careful. There's no enemy tanks. tanks! There's nothing! I killed everyone! <laughs> well, whatever. <laughs> This is dumb. I am dumb. I should have I should have tried. I haven't needed to until now. <laughs> Thanks, Minerva, for solving this unrelated the side mission. Driven off the enemy. Now we can head back. Uh, Yasha, what's wrong? Oh, you're hurt. You did great, Yasha. Proved me wrong, all right. I'll get you straight to a medic. Well, beaten three turns anyway. Oh, that one's worth a lot of EXP, actually. Compared to the previous ones. Nice. Well, looks like the mission was a success. I'm glad to see everyone made it back. Uh, do you think Yasha will be alright? I had no idea he was injured. Don't worry about him. If he got wounded protecting you... It's practically a badge of honor. As usual, you're exaggerating. The injuries weren't serious at all. Yasha, are you all right? Yes, I've been treated for the worst of it, so I should be fine now. Thank you for helping me back. And Hannah, I suppose I owe you thanks too, don't I? I thought you were just a busybody with a one-track mind. And you definitely proved me wrong. You were pretty impressive out there yourself. I guess you're a real man after all. And your calculations are actually good for something. Maybe you could teach me a little sometime. Teaching? Huh. Well, you know, I was a mathematics professor before all this. Once I had some time to tutor them, even the worst students earned high marks. So if you teach me, I could be some kind of math magician. Well, when that day comes, I'll cook something up just for you. Anything you want. <laughs> Isn't that great, Yasha? Hina's cooking is the best in the squad. I'm not sure I'd go that far. Her cooking is nutritionally sound, but the taste is average at best. You all seem a lot closer than the last time I saw you. The mission wouldn't have gone so smoothly without you three and your teamwork. Thanks, everyone. Well then, now that we can all relax for a bit... Yasha, don't you have something to tell Aoife? 
<laughs> you don't mean... here? Now? You just made it off a war-torn battlefield together. You're never going to get a better chance. You can do it! Believe in yourself! If you've got guts, you're bound to get the girl! I... suppose I don't have a choice. Aoife, do you remember, perhaps, uh, earlier they were talking about a girl for whom I have feelings? Oh, yes! I have to say, I've been very curious. Well, that person is... someone you know quite well. Really? I don't suppose I could ask who? Uh, it's... you. What? I, um... Well, Aoife, the fact is, I... I'm in love with you. If you're interested, would you like to go out with me sometime? What? Me? Well, that's, um... I... I'm so sorry. I'm so very sorry. I actually... I actually... Have a fiance. Wait, what? Hannah, what's she talking about? You said she was attracted to Yasha, right? I, uh, she was talking about how attractive he is and how she likes smart guys, right? Well, it wasn't just Yasha I was complimenting. Really, everyone in the squad is striking in their own way. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me get something straight. Aoife, do you say this kind of stuff to all the guys? Well, I mean, kind of. Wow, this unintentional seductress might be one of the scariest girls in the whole squad. I, uh... No amount of calculations could have revealed this. If you say that to all the guys, I guess that explains why they're all over you. Seductress? But I never meant it that way, honestly. No, it's all right. I, I understand now. If the kindness you showed me was some calculated action, I'm sure I would have seen through it. No, I think it was your genuine warmth that I fell for in the first place. Thank you for letting me share my feelings, Aoife. I- Yasha! Sorry about that. Okay, tell you what, I'll make anything you want tonight. You name it, I'll make as much as you can eat. Ah, Anna. You may be a bit simple, but you really do have a good heart. <laughs> I'd rather be simple than complicated. You know what, though? You two might actually be the perfect match. How about you try going out together and see where it goes? This is a bad idea. Yeah, no. Zero percent chance by any mathematical formula, known or unknown. Oh, okay. Let me help with the cooking, Hannah. I'd like to help repay Yasha's kindness if I can. Aoife wants to cook for me? Then do I actually have a chance, or...? Aoife, you're gonna mess with the poor guy's head. Ah, uh, well, why don't the three of us have a little party? I guess that's how the mathematician's first love story ends. Still, it looks like they're all better friends now. That's a happy enough ending for me. Okay, so we have passionate support, mysterious bond, promised love.
All right, that was sappy crap. Uh, anyway, so we do actually have some more characters that I want to work on for side stories, but like, holy crap, this is going to take forever. Let's not. Let's not and come back.